Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Everton Career Mode. Uh, today we've got the transfer deadline day and we're playing Tottenham as well. So, a tough game, uh, plus I'm hoping to maybe sign a centre-back before the deadline day. Uh, just to make sure I've got you know enough backup, because that one guy I did sign on loan for West Brom, is, he's only like 50 rated, I thought he'd be higher than that, I probably should have scouted him. Uh, so I'm going to make some offers for some people, yeah, you know. You know Maybe adjust my wage budget a bit more, see if I can spend something. Uh, I might bring in a player on loan, I'm not really sure, you know. Whatever I can get, really. Keep scrolling down. Ooh, Laurie. Uh, yeah, I know he's, he plays for Liverpool and it's a bit of an unrealistic signing, you know, Liverpool player going to Everton, but, uh, you know, he's a good centre back on the game. I've used him before in my Liverpool career, man, so. Uh, I think I'll try him out, see if we can get him for reasonably cheap, and he could be a backup to Funes Mori in case, or Stones in case one of them gets injured. Right, let's get into the Spurs game then. I think I'm going to play an unchanged lineup from the 5 0 win against Leeds because it was a great win. 5 0 is. I know it was against an easy team in the Capital One Cup, but I'm hoping, who knows, maybe we can replicate that against Spurs. This doesn't look good here. Spurs have got a free kick. Lamella. Oh, oh, wide. Really good. And that's a corner <laughs> for Tottenham. Wait, what? That's the corner? What? Oh, God's sake. Uh, yeah, God. No oh, I hear Nacho with the ball. To Barkley. Oh, he's just been absolutely knocked off. Oh, God, I've given the ball away. No! See the oh, it's a corner, there. isn't it? Corner. <laughs> Please don't concede to half time. It's just been such a boring game, so nothing's happened. Okay, we're well, uh, hooking this in. Yes, Butler, he's had a good game, but to be fair. Okay, we've got to throw in. Morales. Morales. To Baines, I think this is. Slide it through, slide it through. McCarthy, yes, 1 0. Completely undeserved. They've been all over us. But, you know, we've made our chances count, our one chance. Uh, and we find ourselves 1 0 up against Spurs. If we can get an away win here, that'd be a great result. Spurs the ball. Oh, it's a cross. Okay, right, we've got it away. Oh, God, I'm going to get straight back to him. No, ooh, Butland again. This guy is a hero. What a sign. Uh, yeah, and that is half time. Right, one nil up. Quite impressed, actually. If we can just hold on to this for the second half, that'd be great. Alright, uh, let's make some changes. Uh, Varian is a bit tired, so I'm going to bring him off for Lukaku. I think I'm going to leave it at that because the team's been pretty well, doing pretty well. I'm only bringing off Berahino because he's a bit tired, and uh, let's get in the to the second half. Oh, no. Let's not concede straight away, guys. Uh, Lamella. To Kane. Oh, God, then Vele. Oh, Butland, what a save. He has been keeping us in this game. Got the ball here on the left with Ojeh Nacho. Uh, being challenged. Can I keep the ball still, though? No, I can't. That was terrible. <laughs> Right, we've got the throwing. Come on, Morales to Baines. What can Baines do with this? Into Barkley to McCarthy. Barkley's got it again. Barkley strike it. Wide. Got the ball here on the left from Morales. Morales. Die Nacho shoots. Please tell me that was saved. Yeah, it was. Okay, we got a corner now. De La Feu to whip the ball in. John Stones! Oh, he scored another one! John Stones has been monstrous with his headers from set pieces. He's been really good for me. Uh, oof. With player training, imagine how good this guy can be. So somehow, we're winning, and we're winning 2-0. Uh-oh, we've got the ball back here again. Right, good tackle, Stones. Get rid of it. Oh, God, he's been out-muscled. Oh, don't want them to get one back. Oh, God! Strikes it! Oh! Yes, Butland. What a catch. The Spurs corner. Looks it in. Butland again. What a hero this man is. To Barkley. 
Barkley to De La Feu. De La Feu to Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku. Lukaku. Cut inside. Well, he's got support here. Lukaku, keep running. Oh, no one's challenging him. Lukaku! Whoa! It is 3 0. How are we actually winning this game 3 0? We've been dominated pretty much start to finish. But the difference between me and Tottenham has been we've taken our chances and Jack Butler has saved our arse, have saved our asses from conceding so many goals. It could honestly be 5-3 to Tottenham right now if, if we had Rob Lesson goal or Howard. Butler has been absolutely immense. Oh, Ayanacho on the ball again. Can we make it four to Lukaku? Lukaku. To Ayanacho. Make it 4 4 0. How are we winning this game? 4 0. This is absolutely ridiculous. Jeez. Nacho's been really good. It's been a really good signing, proof to be. So I think I'll probably start Lukaku and him in the next game. It would be nice if we could keep a clean sheet, sheet here, boys. Uh, ooh, come on, defend this. Alright, he's whipped in. We've won the head. Alright, okay. Barkley. Barkley to Nacho. Nacho to Lukaku. He's outpaced the defender. Could this be two 5 0 wins in a row? It is! Two 5 0 wins in a row. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, what a performance from the lads. Team, they're racking up the goals. <sighs> is that going to be half time then? Yeah, full time, sorry. Yes, that's full time. Another 5 0 win. Two successive 5 0 wins in a row. The first one I thought was a one-off because it was against Leeds. But we've just beaten Tottenham, one of the best teams in our league. 5-0. Great performance. So we are here. It is transfer deadline day. Hopefully we can sign Laurie. I think it's Laurie. Is it Hillary? Something like that. He's a good centre back though, I think he's, what? They've rejected the loan offer, for God's sake. We're going to have to go in with a transfer for him, hopefully he won't cost too much, but uh, I think we could probably sign him. I've used him in my Liverpool career mode before and he turned out to be a pretty solid centre back. I think at this time he's probably about 74 rated, which is pretty good for a backup. As, you know, our two centre backs are only, I don't know how much, how well rating Stones is, but um, no, that's not the guy I want. But Funes Mori is only 75 rated. So he's not really that much of a step down. Up the table. It's just for proportion, really, in case someone gets injured. I don't want to have to play my 58 rated centre back there or play a, a, a full back there. So, okay, I'll see how much I have to pay. I'll try. Not 10 million. 2 million? Maybe I could snatch him up for 2 million. He's got good potential as well as 22. So, if I maybe do a second season, that could turn out to be a very good signing. So, uh, we'll simulate another hour, see if, see if the Liverpool come back to us. They have accepted. That's good. Right, okay. Uh, see if we can get him on score rotation player, because that's what we'll do. If not, we'll just have to lie to him and sign him on important first team. But uh, chances are I'll probably sign that, as he doesn't get any game time at Liverpool. Yeah, he's accepted it. We have signed Thiago Lloris. That is a very good signing, in my opinion. He, he does grow really, really well. And he is 74 rated, as I thought, so... He'll go straight into my bench instead of Tony Hibbert. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'll probably get him involved maybe in the next Capital One Cup game or something. Uh, I don't, uh, I'm not sure what my next game in, in the league is, but that will be in the next episode. So let's just finish off the transfer window now. Uh, if there's anyone you really want me to sign, maybe tell me in for January. But uh, keep in mind, I've only got about two million left on my budget. So it's, it can't be anyone too expensive. And to be honest, I don't really know if I want to change the team. My team's been playing really well. Two 5 0 no wins in a row, I was really impressed with. And look at some of the signings we've already made Butland, Nacho, Barahino, and now Laurie. I think we've made quite a few good signings to strengthen the squad. And I honestly think we could probably get top four, especially if we keep playing like we have. In the last couple of games. Uh, so, just want to say, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, wait, we've got to transfer. No, I'm not sending Barkley. <laughs> no chance. Uh, thanks for watching another episode of my Everton career mode. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you in the next episode.